people are swimming there. <laughs> Crazy people in the Nordics. But yeah, welcome to the video. I hope it's not too windy. I have the wind protection on the mic, but it's still a little bit, bit of a too windy to do this vlog style of video. But uh, this is something new I'm trying. Tell me in the comments if this is something you want to see in the future. Just talk about bikes and uh, a bit more casual and slow paced video. You can just listen to this. You don't even have to look at it. I'm coming to a conclusion that I'm actually going to sell my Tenere 700. And I was thinking maybe I should talk a little bit about those reasons. Why and uh, is there something specific that I don't like about the Tenere? Of course there is some things. And I already made a few videos about the Tenere. You can find them on my channel. Okay, so the first reason I've been thinking about changing the Tenere to something else is the, let's say, kindly unsophisticated suspension setup of the Tenere 700. It's, uh, it's not a comfortable bike to cruise around for hours on end, especially on some rougher, rougher fast-paced gravel roads. It's really not comfortable to ride on. So yeah, that's something I've been, I've been thinking about over the last year, that maybe I should do a suspension swap on that bike. And I even have an offer on the, on the table for um, TTM factory that they would do a suspension for my bike. But it would be a, quite a costly endeavor. So putting in 2000 euros towards the Tenere suspension, I'm not sure if it's worth the money because I could buy a new bike, put that money towards the new bike and I would be close to the new bike's price anyway, depending on what I buy the bike would otherwise need to be pretty much perfect for me. So if that was the only problem with the bike, I might consider doing that. But as it's really not the only problem, that's a costly endeavor just to fix one. Reason number two. I know this is being banged on on the internet so much that it's already pretty boring, but the top heaviness of that bike. I have ridden most of the bikes on the market, available on the market at some point. I know that the Tenere 700, in spite of its weight, it feels like a heavy, heavy bike. It feels heavy when you ride it. It feels heavy when you lift it up if you crash the bike. So it does actually feel heavier than the bikes that you might look on paper are, are <laughs> pretty much the same weight or even heavier than the Tenere 700. I would say that the Tenere 700 feels heavier than most of those mid-sized bikes on the market, but I would really hope it would be less top heavy, the bike. That's one of the biggest niggles I have with this bike. It feels more heavy than it actually is. So those are the two of the biggest reasons why I need to change the bike. And this reason number three is that the bike has never felt like it's made for me. It's uh, the ergonomy of the bike doesn't really fit perfectly with my proportions as a rider. And I'm 174 centimeters tall. So that's what, five, eight and a half for you American. And the bike has always felt like it's, uh, it's like a shoe one size too big. You always feel like, okay, you can put a couple socks on top of each other and uh, you can remedy some of those problems. But it's never going to feel like the shoe is just made for you just right. You're trying so hard to fix the problem with socks and everything, but actually you should have bought a different pair of shoes. So that's why, how I feel about the Tenere 700. It's been always a little bit bit of a challenge to get it comfortable for me. I've ridden mine for 20,000 kilometers, so I've tried my best to love the bike and I kind of do love the bike, but still after 20K, it still feels like it's one size too big for me. It's a little bit too tall. I've tried to lower it for with the lowering link. That's the sock on top of the other sock. And uh, I have the low seat on the bike, that helps a little bit, 
but it's still not perfect. It's again a sock on top of the other sock. So that's one of the reasons. The bike has never felt like it's made for me personally. And that's something you always have to figure out yourself when you're buying a bike. But with a short test ride, it's tough to tell. But I would say if you're buying a Tenere 700, try to get one for a longer loan. Ride two hours without leaving the saddle. And then think about how you feel about that bike. Is the ergonomy perfect or is there something you need to change? I've changed my handlebars and all kinds of things and it's it's still not it doesn't feel like mine but okay long story short that's the reason number three then after the third we go to the some go to some of the smaller niggles that i have with the bike not really problems with the bike itself but the feature set of the bike now that i ride a lot more with my bigger bike and i do long travels and I commute with the bike. I just like to use it instead of a car many times. And I feel like it would be kind of nice to have a cruise control. <laughs> I know, I know some people say it's pointless and I, I've said it myself. But still, when you have to go from here to like three hours somewhere, just straight roads, it would be nice to just relax your throttle hand, put the cruise control on, and just chill all the way. It's just something I, I wish the Tenere would have, but it doesn't. And because it's a, it's a wire controlled throttle, there's no third party options available. So if I'm gonna change the bike, the new bike has to have an actual cruise, cruise control. I won't buy the bike if it doesn't. So that's already limiting my options quite a lot. So the bigger ones are those, suspension, top heaviness, ergonomy for my personal use, and uh, then some of the lack of the electronics. Of course, it's a plus because it's very reliable bike, but I have a second bike on my use. So if I have some trouble with the new bike, I can always ride my Honda. Uh, I'm not selling the Honda because I really like the, like the bike and I'm gonna do a lot of adventures with that one still going forward. The question is, what to buy? What do I replace the Tenere with? Maybe you can help me on this one. I have some ideas because I have some limitations that I would like the new bike to be. Number one, I don't want the new bike to be any heavier than the Tenere 700. So things like the Africa Twin or the big Africa Twin, or many other competitors like the Desert X from Ducati, they're automatically out of the question because one, number one, they're too heavy. Number two, they're too big for me. So if the seat height is the same as the Tenere or even taller, I'm in the same problem that I was in with the Tenere. So that's number one, it has to fit me per better. No more weight, not taller than the Tenere. I would prefer it to be a little bit shorter so not as tall as the Tenere 700. Okay, so then you're probably gonna say already buy the KTM 690 or the Husqvarna 701 or Gas Gas 700. And then we come to the, the second thing that I want from the bike. It has to be as comfortable as the Tenere. The same comfort or even more comfortable than the Tenere. So I'm not willing to go thumper on my second bike because I already have the Honda for that. So I want to have a bike that I can cruise to up. So if I want, I can take someone with me, ride with a pillion. So that's automatically a no-no for those single cylinder thumpers. I don't want the bike to be that uncomfortable and it's going to be too vibey for my use. That's what I decided last summer when I test rode a few of those bikes. It is nice to maybe compare the Honda to those, but the Tenere Comfort is in a different league. Of course, because it's a parallel twin. So the Comfort has to be there. And there's no cruise control on those bikes either. So, <laughs> so then we come to the third thing that I would like the bike to have. 
better suspension right out of the box it has to be better it has to be more proficient and it has to be a little more comfortable i could fix the tenere suspension but with the same amount of money i can upgrade the bike to something else of course nothing is perfect right out of the box but almost everything on that category is better than the Tenere 700 right out of the box and I'm talking about this base model that doesn't have the KYB suspension the world raid models are automatically better but as I told you already I don't want a Tenere I just don't want that it doesn't fit me so then electronics if I'm gonna pay a lot of money let's be sure let's be frank I'm gonna be paying a lot of money for the upgrade I might as well go with the electronics I have no desire of going through Africa or Mongolia or doing anything crazy like that with this big bike if I would be riding from Finland to to uh, China for example I would actually do it with the Honda I would much prefer that very light luggage and uh, that's one of my dreams actually I hope I can block that trip someday I'm sorry if I'm watching the screen and not the camera. I'm trying to learn this vlogging stuff. <laughs> I'm so close to the camera, so I have to think about these things. Otherwise it's gonna look weird. So yeah, I, I, I would like it to have the electronics. I don't really care about the traction control stuff, but the cruise control is kind of a must have. So that already limits my options quite a lot. There's this KTM 790, you can have cruise, Transalp 750 you can have cruise control of course the F9, F900 BMW the Ducati Desert X there's a lot of options but many of those options do not fit the categories that I've already mentioned BMW the new one might fit that but then we come to the price I don't want to pay an insane amount of money for the next bike I would like, like it to be under 20,000 euros here in Finland because if it's 25, even more than that with all the equipment that I have to buy for it it's right on the border of is it really an adventure bike at that point do I have the cojones to fling that bike around considering all that money that I put in so I would prefer it to be under between 15 and 17,000 euros but 20,000 being my max I would think with all the equipment that I have to buy for the bike which is just protection and, and stuff like that luggage system maybe I have a few options and I'm already looking into one of those options pretty seriously but I'm not gonna reveal it to you right now you can start guessing in the comments which which bike I should get maybe give, give me some options yourself and Make me talk me through the process. When I do decide to buy something, I'm gonna reveal it with the video, of course. But as you can see, the weather is not really suitable at this point. <laughs> Had to keep a bit of a distance because there was kids running around. I don't want them to be in my video. It's weird. Don't film people's kids. It's rude. <laughs> so yeah. Talk me through in the comments, what, what would you buy in my, my shoes, my situation? I think the primary options that I have at the moment are things that have two cylinders, are not more than 210, 220 kilograms when fueled up, so wet weight, are not as top heavy as the Tenere 700, have the cruise control. I would prefer it to be a factory cruise control, but I know the Transalp 750 has a third party option that is apparently just as good so that's not out of the question you can also say in the comments what would you like me to buy there's a lot of content about every bike pretty much maybe not the new bmw but you know everyone's gonna make some content out of that bike so i don't know if i want to do that and and again the price is crazy and I know the Tenere 700, the, I'm going to lose some reliability if I go Italian. But I'm kind of thinking I'm willing to do that. And also, it might be interesting for me to make a journey with that bike. Tell you, the audience, how am I dealing with that bike. And if I have any problems with the bike, you know I'm honest with these videos. I'm always going to tell you if I have some issues. 
I'm not paid like many other YouTubers are. I'm not saying being paid is bad, but I have this privilege because I don't get much of any money from doing this. I can always be honest and I can be, I can be myself, which is very important to me. If I recommend something, I want it to be something I would recommend anyway. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog style content. My, me rambling about my biker thoughts and maybe someone got some information from this and maybe this is entertaining to some people. I might do more of this kind of content in the future if I feel like this is something people want to watch. And maybe do it in a less windy conditions. But I thought because I'm going out for a walk anyway, I might as well film something and just talk, talk with the camera and talk to you guys. Um, I want to break some boundaries on my channel, like do some different stuff at every now and then and not always make those very highly edited, not high-end edited, but very, very much edited videos, very tight, compact videos. I want to do more relaxed content as well. I don't want to constrict myself, constrict my channel towards only one particular type of content. If you want to see the future content, if you want to see what I buy and why I bought it, keep subscribing to the channel and uh, see you on the next videos. Bye.